India is eyeing space today again and all eyes will be at Sri Harikota because that is where uh, this small development flight that uh, SS SSLV D2 will be launched. ISRO will be making its second attempt to launch the new mini vehicle SSLV and it will be taking place at 9.18 a.m. from Sri Harikota in India today will be live. So stay tuned for the coverage. Take a look on your screen. Remember after SSLV D1 launch failure, ISRO made structural and logistical changes to ensure success of second development flight. Earlier on Thursday, ISRO officials and scientists visited Tirumala Temple ahead of the SSLV space launch, ahead of the launch day. So this is, remember, also a combination of faith and science. As per ISRO, SSLV D2 will attempt to put three satellites into a 450-kilometer circular orbit during the 15-minute flight. First test flight of SSLV ended in partial failure. The rocket had failed to inject its satellite payload into their intended orbit. And of course, for a big event like that, India Today is on the ground. Let's go across to Andhra Pradesh and Sri Harikota, where Shilpa Nair is reporting from right now. All right, Shilpa, I can see that flanking you are these young, budding scientists, and I hope they also make it to ISRO someday. What's the mood like? What are we expecting in just a short while? Pooja, well, it's a big day for uh, the ISRO for the country and uh, I think it's a bigger moment for these young girls because this is girl power in full glory. These are students who are part of the 750 member uh, a girl group, a girls group who uh, developed this particular satellite, the Asadi satellite, which is one among the three satellites that will be injected into the orbit by the SSLV. And the excitement here is palpable. I've been speaking to them since morning. They're all smiles. They're all fully excited. Let's straightly uh, speak to them. Uh, tell us what is Azadi satellite and, you know, how did you manage to take time out of your classes, hectic tuition classes, all of that, and spend time for this project? How did you manage to do that? Our teachers selected us for the Azadi Sat because earlier we, are, we were interested in science. So we got a chance to do the programming of the Azadi Sat satellite, and it was a great experience. Although we were able to manage it properly, but as we were interested, so we took time out of it, and then we, we did it. But last time it was a failure, but I guess... Someone said it's a great thing that we fail, we learn, then we fail, we learn again, and then we achieve the success. So today is the day of a success, hope for us. That's, that's, that's something, you know, that's a very nice thing to say, that there are no failures, there are only learnings. Uh, yeah. Like she rightly said, the last time around when they attempted to put this satellite in the orbit, uh, there were some technical glitches that they encountered, and the, uh, the, uh, the mission was only a partial success. Uh, this time around, have you made mod modifications? What changes have you made? And she said it was a learning. What exactly was that learning? So um, we made modifications. Uh, we did some programming changes, a little bit of changes there. And in case, in case of you say learning, first we learn. Once you, uh, you learn, you fall off, and then you stand again, then you achieve the success. That was the first learning. Uh, that was one of the things that my mom told me when I when our first satellite failed, like failed and was not successful. I cried. I cried the whole night. My mom was just consoling me and she's saying, next time you would succeed and you would be up there. Your satellite would, with your name would be up in the sky. So don't get sad, don't get disappointed because next time you're going to be the star, you're going to rock the space. They must be praying for us right now. Yeah. Amazing. Exactly. And the one thing that I'm extremely fascinated about is this group of 750 girls, uh, you know, who developed this satellite. How was that, you know, working along with so many girls yeah. from across the country? How was that experience? Apart from the coding, we learned teamwork. As per Case and Mom specially organized that we would learn the code within different la in different languages. It was in Tamil, Punjabi, English, and apart from that, we learned what is um, you know a lot of people were here, a lot of people from different states were here. We together coded it. We learned teamwork. We learned we learned what it feels like to be in the girl power. Amazing. And I heard that uh, it's not just a satellite, but you also have composed a song. Yeah, uh, exactly. What is that song? Can you? Sing two lines of that song for us. Yeah. Oh. Okay. One, two, three, go. Aao mere saath, aao mere saath. Antariksh ne pukara hai, antariksh ne pukara hai. Chal ke dekhe kaisa dikhta hai desh hamara. 
superb. And one last question. I know you you have to go to the gallery uh, to watch the uh, the launch of the S Silvi. Uh, but is, what is the next project that you are all working on? Is there something yeah. that is we are working uh, for to go to the moon? Uh, as Kesan Ma'am said, she was hoping that we could build a research station where we could do the research uh, researches. We could learn things practically. Apart from the theory part, we could learn things practically. And the next time we are planning to go to moon. Amazing. And I think it's equally important to get in a word from the teachers because they've also been helping out the students for a long time. Ma'am, how has this experience been for all of you? It's been a thrilling experience for all of us and I, the students have already said a lot of things. But I would like to add on and would like to tell you all that all these students are having their examination on coming Monday. Throughout these two days, throughout the trip, in the, uh, I mean we came by air, so in the flight, in the bus, in the hotel, these girls had been studying. I told them to take rest. They said, no ma'am, we have to study because we have exam on Monday. So they are not saying they will re reschedule the examination or something. So they are so excited. This, uh, the failure, the previous failure has not let them down. They have again come up to make this a success. It's absolutely. And this time they are yes. really sure that we are going to have success and victory, and we are going to reach moon as well. Amazing. So fingers crossed. Yeah. Uh, you know, we hope the mission is a huge success, and we are possibly looking at the future space scientists of our country here. And if thank anyone, and Shilpa, thank you for getting us that. If anyone thought that young teenage girls are not interested in science or in space. Let Indian girls teach you how it's done. Shilpa Nair will be getting us the latest on that from Shri Harikora. What a beautiful moment to listen to these young girls when one of them said, we'll be soon towards the moon as well.